Welcome to this week's Chinook News! Good morning, Chinooks! Welcome back. It's been a whole year since we've seen you. Ooh. Yeah, it is now 2023 and the end of our first week here at Clackamas River. Miss Anderson, this school year so far we have focused on collaboration, mm -hmm. respect, mm -hmm. and now we are moving on to consistent. So we are going to be recognizing students for that consistent I say behavior um, throughout our whole school and what that looks like for consistent is staying true to our core values to provide that structure mm -hmm. okay so when we have changes that happen are we able to stay consistent with our behavior and also I say our work in that we're performing with so this month is that consistency that's really exciting it's a month where people um, make New Year's resolutions, try something new, and that consistency is what will help you meet those goals that you have along the way. So we'll see what happens in the month of January. Looking forward to it. And Miss Anderson talking about consistent, we have some inconsistent, I say, mm -hmm. weeks with our read days. Yes. So read day, as you know, for this week, we did not have read day on this Friday because we are at school today on Friday. But our next read day for January is the 13th, okay? And then the following week, we do not have a read day because it is MLK day. So we have school Tuesday through Friday. And then the next read day is the 27th. Mm -hmm. So we do go kind of back and forth in that, but please remember how important those read days are. That's that time where you get to come in, have some fun, and do some extra learning. So if you get the invitation, we'll look forward to seeing you here. Um, another really exciting thing coming up, and it's a little ways out, but we want you to mark your calendars. Our Read Across America Week is that last week in February that turns into March. We will be celebrating reading and all the goals that we have wrapped around that and just really um, looking at our school and how we can celebrate the great work you guys have been doing. Sounds a lot of fun. I'm excited to see what books are being read. Mm -hmm. All right, Miss Anderson, this whole school year, starting way back in August time, we started to work on our school-wide agreements. I am excited to announce that our posters should be showing up early next week. And just to review that really quickly, our school-wide agreements that all of you had a voice in were growth mindset, okay? It's okay to fail, okay? We're gonna learn from that mistake and grow. Never give less than your best. We're always trying our hardest. Be safe, being aware of yourself and others and what you do and how you act and how does that affect people. Be respectful of people and property. And then the last one is acting with integrity. Doing the right thing even when no one's watching. Super important because especially as we get older, less people are watching. Very true. We want to make sure we're still doing the right thing. All right, our trivia for K235. We didn't have trivia for the break because we had our live assembly. So this week, your trivia is... All right, and celebrating some birthdays this week, we... Happy birthday to you. This week, we have Julian in Miss Oberg's class, Caden in Miss Sherman's class, Sophia in Miss Hill's class, Wesley in Miss Holsey's, Tyler in Miss Brown, Julian in Miss Arnett, Maddox in Miss Kresick, Mara in Miss Oberg, and Kyle in Miss Munns. Happy, happy birthday to all of you. Welcome to the new year and your birthday month. That's kind of exciting. And we hope you have a wonderful. All right, we have the golden plunger, the golden tray, and the golden book. So this week for the golden plunger, we're gonna go and check in with Mr. Armstrong to see who won that golden plunger. Hello, Chinooks. We're here with Mr. Armstrong and we have some really important information for you about the plunger fairy that is going to let us know who won the golden plunger. Mr. Armstrong, who won that? So this week is fourth and fifth grade girls. Fourth job, and fifth grade girls, rock stars. Nice work, keep up the good work. Congratulations on the golden plunger. All right, 
for the golden tree this week, we have our kindergartners. Well done, kinders in the cafeteria, keeping it nice and clean and quiet. We really appreciate all of that hard work and following those school-wide agreements in the cafeteria. I'm impressed they remembered all those things over the break, came back, and showed up knowing what to do. Nice job, kinder. And then for our golden book, we're gonna head into that library and check in with Mrs. T to see who won the golden book. Hello, Chinooks. We are here in the library and the book fairy has been watching all of you do an awesome job right here. Mrs. T, it's that time. Who won that golden book? Ms. Adams class. Congratulations. Woo! Good job being on task. Way to go. Congratulations on winning the golden book. All right, guys, it is time for us to stand, put your hand over your heart, and we're gonna begin our pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, Chinooks, thank you for an amazing week at CRE. We are looking forward to many more weeks with you all. Keep up the hard work, stay tuned for more.